Hi, welcome to the Amber Shows. I'm back. I'm back in my shorts in the sun. Feeling good after my bout with vertigo. Oh my God. All right, let's talk about vertigo. Vertigo is something I've experienced five different times in my life over the last four years. It's very, very scary. It's like you're on a roller coaster, like on, you're on a merry-go-round. And it's going round and round and round and round and it doesn't stop. And this happened for 24 hours with me. Very, very scary. You're very nauseated. And no one really knows where it comes from. There are a lot of myths and there are a lot of truths. Some of the myths and truths are ear infections. I don't have an ear infection. Brain tumor. I hope I don't have that. But I do have a doctor's appointment. I had to go to the emergency room. But I do have a doctor's appointment so I can get some CAT scans done. So, head injury in the past, maybe. Any of these things could bring it about. So, I've even heard dehydration. My sister, uh, Patty, mentioned dehydration. That was the first time I had heard of that. And then you try and Google things, but, you know, everybody wants to be a doctor, but nobody wants to go to school. So you can't just always go by Google, because if you do that, you'll scare yourself, because there, you'll, you're sure to find something wrong with you. So it's real important that you do stay up on your health. One thing I have to give praise to is that I have Obamacare. I'm so happy about that. I gave up my insurance from my job because it was expensive. I was paying $125 a week just for myself, and it was ridiculous. And then Affordable Health Care Act came about, brought by our president, Obama. It's not called Obamacare. It's called Affordable Health Care. But for those who, want, who hate the president, they like to use the word Obamacare. Anyway, whichever way it goes, the care that the president has stated and stated for us is great. I pay $31 a month with my particular insurance that I have. Uh, no matter what happens to me, I only have to pay $2,000 out of pocket. So who can beat that? I have full coverage and usually no copay. I have yet to have any copay, and I've been to the doctors quite a few times. So you should try and get Obamacare if you are looking for an affordable health care. All right, next thing I wanted to talk about is the entire police force really needs to be disbanded. Uh, body cameras are not enough. It's shown already that what happened with Walter Scott, if it weren't for uh, that young man Santana who took the pictures of, uh, Walt of Walter Scott being killed, then uh, we, would, we would never have known what happened to him. Uh, he was a shame. Michael Slager uh, gunned down uh, that young man. Uh, he had a taser and he actually went to put it on right next to the body of Walter Scott to plan it, in other words, so that when the cameras catch it, it would look like that Walter Scott had actually uh, tried to take his taser. And then it turns out the young man who shot the footage from his own cell phone, that was all a lie. So, uh, this is something that has to be taken has to be taken care of. The the system where police are glorified and black people are demonized, uh, all this has to be. Has to, they have to be, re, they have to learn relearn about people, about social justice, about we are not dogs to just be gunned down in the street. That we are people with families and friends, and they don't care about us. So it is a war on the black man. And it's very important that we all take a stand at this time and march. Write the president, write your council people, write your, write your senators, and let them know that we are not going to stand for this any longer. Eric Gardner's last words in New York was when he was being choked, I can't breathe. And that's unacceptable. Okay, I also want to talk about um, something that's a lot of kind of strange. Uh, in China, they have strippers at funerals. They said that it's a real honor to have a lot of people at your funeral. It shows that you were loved and that people, you know, care about you. So now what they're doing is they brought strippers to funerals so that people will come. They actually have poles. They actually have poles. I, I saw it myself. They have poles that they're swinging on at people's funerals. So that's, I can't, I can't even talk. That's so funny. But they have strippers at funerals. Do you know how many people would be at funerals? People, you know how many guys would go to funerals if they knew there were strippers at the funerals? That is so funny. I mean, if nobody liked you, 
people would just be going to the to the funerals so they could uh, see a strip show. That that is just hilarious. Anyway, I had to bring that up. I'm so excited that Loretta Lynch has finally been stated as our uh, lieutenant general, lieutenant general. I'm so happy that she finally got the job after 100 days. That was ridiculous, but it's happened. And congratulations, Loretta Lynch. Um, Lip Sync Battle, has anybody seen the chat? Uh, it's hosted by LL Cool J, and um, it's a thing where the people come on, celebrities, they come on, and they lip sync battle. And just recently, Mike Tyson was on uh, lip sync battling with Terry Crews. And you know how Terry Crews likes to use his his uh, breast muscles and he pushes them up back and forth. Well, anyway, Terry Crews did win, but um, Mike Tyson was really funny. So if you get a chance to catch the show, go ahead and uh, catch it. You'll, you'll enjoy it. Uh, I'm really happy to be feeling better and I uh, have to study some more about what's going on in the news because I was bedridden. And just to be back, man, it's a beautiful thing. You know, it's nothing like your health. You can have all the money in the world. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. So I'm glad to be back. I'll give you some real good news and information this evening. Have a happy Friday. Get home safe. Before you get home, go have a drink. Go have a margarita. You and the girls, you and the guys, whatever. Have a good day. Be safe.